The initial reviews for the Lion King are out and it ain't looking pretty. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black and lick on. So the Lion King did their premiere this past Wednesday and the girls are basically dragging it. Before we even get started into this conversation, I want to let you all know that I have not watched the movie, the new remake of The Lion King. I have not seen it. I'm only going off of clips, um, reviews, and the stuff that I have seen. Yes, I probably will be going to see the movie next week, but I have to admit that I'm not excited about it at all. After the premiere, you had a couple of folks get on social media and talk about how beautifully stunning the movie was and how good it was and the energy was there. And I honestly did not trust a blue check Twitter, which I call them the folks who are verified on Twitter. A lot of these folks were only reviewing the access they had to be a part of these circles. So I know that someone who is working for a publication like BuzzFeed is not going to be honest about how they felt about the film because they want to be asked to come to another Disney opening. I mean, to be a part of the, on the red carpet, to be at the movie as soon as it is out, the Disney premiere, it means a lot compared to the folks who have to see it the day after a small viewing. So, uh, girl, I think Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 66% so far. Uh, it was very telling because I was on Vox um, website earlier, so when I went on Google to look for the reviews, I saw Vox had one with the title, The Lion King Review, like the 1994 film, but without the magic. So, and when I clicked on it this morning, it kept saying that I couldn't access it, and I was a little confused. I think Vox got comfortable after everybody else started saying that it wasn't that good and that a lot of things were missing and it was just unnecessary. So I think Vox probably got comfortable and then released it after everybody else did. And I honestly only trust independent um, like creators. The reasons why I oftentimes trust smaller folks because I know that they are really only relying on the people to be able to support them to be able to put out content and, and talk about stuff and be honest versus the ones who are relying on their access to these communities and stuff. So it's no shade, y'all have to protect y'all bad, but I'm just not gonna listen to y'all talk about some stuff because I know y'all trying to be in those circles, girl. Judging by all of the critiques, it sounds like the CGI was good. It was just some of the storytelling was just like, it was just stand out. And it also looks like they were trying to stay close to, you know, the, the original story that came out in 1994. So I saw a short clip of the Hakuna Matata song and it, it just seeing how Simba's mouth was moving it just it just did not it didn't feel like realistic it just it felt weird it just like it, this is supposed to be a live action type of stuff like and looking at the visual the, the lions look real like they look real like for real for real you can tell but when the lips were moving, it just seemed so off. It just seemed so off. But I will say that Seth Rogen is going, I think he's going to carry this film on his back. I think Seth Rogen is going to offer that, you know, that, that, that funny stuff and it's going to make us feel good. But I had some reservations after seeing the clips, honestly. When I first heard B's voice as Nala, I cringed. And I really don't know what it is as of right now, why I honestly don't like it that much. I think the first reason why is because Beyonce's voice is like known. Beyonce's voice is something that all of us recognize. So hearing her voice in a character that we grew up on, a lot of us, it's just kind of hard to like, like I'm listening to her, I'm like, that's Beyonce, like that is Beyonce. And voice acting is extremely difficult because you have to model your voice for folks, for it not to be almost your original voice, the voice you use every day. You have to be a little bit more animated. And I just don't feel like Beyonce is as animated in that type of realm. Like, Sis is very animated and giving us life when she performs on the stage, when she's getting body and all that. Excellent, but when it comes to voice acting or acting in general, Beyonce just doesn't do that. I think that's because she, Sis is an introvert. Sis does not like to do that unless she's in her element. I don't think she has found her element yet or that place she can go to when she go quiet. <laughs> 
she hasn't found that place when she does acting or voice acting, and we can hear that. Um, and some people say, well, it might be a little bit of anti-blackness, how we don't want to hear a black woman's voice, a southern black woman's voice to play in this in this movie or this, this film versus hearing a British um, the bird talking in Africa. And I haven't heard Zazu's voice yet, I don't think. Um, I will say, I did agree. I had to kind of look at myself and say, hey, do I not want to hear Beyonce's voice because of anti-blackness? Is that, is that the case? And that it might be. It might be that I just don't want to hear it. But then I started thinking, and I was like, okay, but I've heard Regina King voice a lot of um, characters. And Regina King, and not just Regina King, I can't even think about my favorite sis who did so many voice uh, voice acting for for, um, for Nickelodeon and uh, all those like cartoon shows and stuff. So I, I don't think that's the issue. I just don't think that Beyonce is animated enough and she's just not good. I'm not sure if she got a voice acting coach or whatever. Like Beyonce needs a voice coach, damn. But a voice acting coach because you don't know what this would mean to everyone. It just, it just was not there. It honestly sounded like she was just reading lines. And that's why I'm going to go see it, just so I can give an honest take off of it. But just looking from the clips, it don't seem like it's the T. Um, now the song, Spirit! Spirit is beautiful. Beyonce is releasing her own um, um, like Lion King um, music or whatever, like some type of album or something. And she released the single um, Spirit, and it's a beautiful gospel, it's a beautiful gospel style song, and it's kind of like, Something that you would hear uh, the kids walking down the aisle for their seventh grade graduation, like kick with the, with the flower, kick, like and the, and the lights and the, the, the candles and stuff, walking for graduation, like it's that type of song. This is go going to get awards for that, like I, I definitely do believe that. I think we're such a big fan of Beyonce that sometimes it is hard to critique her because it's like, can Beyonce do wrong? And I'm like, well. I don't like to give Beyonce that because at the end of the day, Beyonce is still a human and she should be able to make mistakes. She's not perfect. She's truly talented. Um, she is something that she loves her craft, but at the end of the day, she is human and she should be able to make mistakes and exist and not be, you know, like expectations like are so high for her. And my expectations for her were not high when they casted her as, um, as Nala. I just, I didn't know. They could have honestly gave it to somebody else. Honestly, I mean, there's so many other folks that would have did a really great job, but it is what it is. So this is not a Beyonce movie. Beyonce has probably a small role in the movie, but ultimately I think what Disney is trying to do with these remakes is make money in the process, but also try to fix how the stories were told in the beginning because you had almost an entire white cast for a movie that was supposed to be like based in Africa. Um, so I think that's what Disney is doing with The Lion King. Um, I just don't think, from what I'm seeing in the reviews, it just seems like it was just a soul missing. Like it was a remake that was unnecessary. And honestly, I am really tired of these remakes. I'm looking for new ideas. Now I will say I'm very excited for Mulan. I do want to see that. I know some people have their reservations because they don't like that certain characters are not there. But if we're going to tell a story and the story where it's coming from, where it originated from, the people don't like it and feel like it didn't do them a good job, like it didn't do them right, uh, they have every right to critique it and tell them like, sis, no, we ain't, we ain't here for that. So I'm definitely interested in that. But The Lion King itself, I thought, like I just had to go back and look and they said that the Rotten Tomatoes went from 66 to 56%. And like, that's why I just didn't initially tr trust people who were coming out and tweeting and saying how good it was and how people were like taking certain, you know, tweets and saying, oh, everybody's saying that she had a standing ovation or they had a standing ovation and this was done good and everything was good. I think this was just a movie to display how far technology has came since 1994 and how, what is live action, like how things are done. I think this is like the third like live action film that Disney has done. They did, um, what was it, The Jungle Book? I can't think of the other one. But it just shows you how, like, it, like somebody compared it to looking at a new iPhone. Like, look at the technology. Look how new and real it looks. How realistic it is. 
But um, my expectations were kind of low for it because I feel like it's just some stuff just does need to be touched. Just leave it alone and just go with it is. So, but um, I'm gonna end this just saying, y'all check out the film. I will be seeing it next week to get my full review on it. Um, shout out to my channel members who are sponsoring me being able to go to these movies and see that. If you want to become a channel member, go and sign up below. The comment is in the comment section and as well as the description section. Um, these people make sure that I'm able to go see these movies because y'all know I go see movies like every other week, if not every week. So let me know your initial reactions after seeing some of the trailers and seeing some of the reviews and stuff. Let me know in the comments and we'll have a discussion. I'll talk to you later on tonight. Bye. What's your, what's your sentence for, for her? Electric chair. <laughs> oh, shit. God damn it. Electric chair, that bitch. <laughs> and I want you to pour some water on her first. Uh, we